as a part of TI India Unlock Design Contest 2011. We are presenting our project, an artificial hand gripper using Bluetooth technology. From Sri Vishnu Engineering College for Women, Bhimavaram. The team members are B.L. Ramyakrishna, T. Lakshmi Bhavya, P. Alakananda of Final ECE, bearing team number 127, under the guidance of our mentor, Mrs. K. Padmavasavi. The need for functional and cosmetically acceptable artificial hand for amputees has existed for many years. In India, there is a high demand for such prosthetic devices as out of 80 million disabled people, approximately 12 million people are deprived of their limbs. As a part of the assistive technology lab program held in a college in collaboration with UMass Lowell, USA, we interacted with many mentally and physically challenged people in our neighborhood to provide cost-effective solutions that would make their lives better. There we happened to meet our client, Mr. G. Rajesh, who is 20 years old and is an above elbow amputee. He has a passion for driving a bike and requested us to make it possible. This motivated us to develop a prosthetic hand which could make his dream come true. An artificial hand gripper using Bluetooth technology is developed to meet this requirement and to assess the physically disabled to do their regular course. The progress in building capable robotic hands has been slow. An important factor that has affected the progress in this field is the lack of easily obtainable, low-cost experimental robotic hands that can be used as test beds. The high cost and difficulty of building a robotic hand along with the associated electronics, control systems and integrated sensing has led to a serious lack of experimental devices in the field. Some of the gripper designs which are set up in the industries are shown in the above slide. However, the prosthetic devices shown above are developed in other countries and are needed to be imported. The cost of such devices is also very high starting from rupees 3 lakhs which an average Indian cannot afford. This project aims at developing an efficient and low cost hand gripper which operates based on the muzzle flexes obtained through flex sensors, push button operation, muzzle movements of the user via Bluetooth. An artificial hand gripper using Bluetooth technology is a real-time project which aims at providing a cost-effective prosthetic solution to our client who is shown in the picture. His name is G. Rajesh who is 20 years old and is an engineering student who is an above elbow amputee. His main requirements are to ride a bike and to pick and place objects in the day-to-day -day life. The main objective we are trying to achieve is to make our project available to the physically challenged with a cost which is six times lesser than the cost of others available in the market that is around 50,000 rupees. The artificial hand gripper developed by us is divided into two sections as described. The first is the electronic section and the second is the mechanical section. The electronic section is explained with the help of the block diagram. The accelerometer present on the CC2540 key fob senses any tilt and transmits the sense signal to the USB dongle via Bluetooth communication. The USB dongle is interfaced to an MSP430G microcontroller unit through serial peripheral interface. In this configuration, the USB dongle acts as a master to enable the microcontroller and the microcontroller acts as a slave. Whenever the tilt is sensed by the accelerometer on the key fob, the USB dongle enables the microcontroller. The microcontroller feeds the signal to a motor driver which in turn drives the motor of the hand gripper. The output of the motor driver is inverted and given to the other terminal of the motor. The mechanical section. Mechanical section. The mechanical unit of the artificial hand gripper consists of two parts, the hand socket and the hand gripper. The hand socket. The hand socket is the most important and essential part of the proposed prototype. The preparation of this socket begins by taking the measurements of the working hand of the client for whom this prototype is intended for. Then a mould of this stump is made by making use of polyvinyl propylene. Then the mould is then dried for 10 hours. Then it is again checked for accuracy by placing it on the stump of the client. The next step is to make a lamination of the mould which provides the aesthetics to the hand. The hand gripper. The gripper is used for providing the gripping mechanism to the client. It is placed at the bottom end of the socket. It consists of fingers made of aluminium. The fingers get opened and closed with the mechanism of the string connected to the pulley. 
The string is connected to the motor from the electronic unit. Therefore, the open and close mechanism of this hand gripper is controlled by the electronic unit of the proposed hand gripper. CC2540 Key Fob The key fob is the heart of our project. It has a buzzer, LED and a built-in accelerometer that is CMA3000 on it to sense the tilt signals given by our client. Furthermore, it communicates the tilt signal sensed from the accelerometer to the USB dongle via Bluetooth and further motor control. This is the device that acts as a BLE slave. The CC2540 USB dongle can be used as a development platform for USB and Bluetooth low energy applications. It comes pre-programmed with software that lets the dongle operate as a Bluetooth low energy packet capture device for smart RF packet sniffer. MSP430 G2231 Microcontroller The Texas Instruments MSP430 family of ultra-low power microcontroller consists of several devices featuring different sets of peripherals targeted for various applications. The architecture, combined with five low power modes, is optimized to achieve extended battery life in the portable measurement applications. The MSP430 G2231 is used for providing serial peripheral interface between the USB dongle and the motor for operating the hand gripper. The universal serial interface module is used for serial data communication and provides the basic hardware for synchronous communication protocols like SPI and I2C. Motor Driver L293D L293D is a dual H-bridge motor driver. An H-bridge motor circuit is the motor is that the motor can be driven forward or backward at any speed optionally using a completely independent power source. L293D has output current of 600 MA and peak output current of 1.2 amperes per channel. Moreover, for protection of circuit from back EMF, output diodes are included within the IC. The output supply has a wide range from 4.5 volts to 36 volts which has made L293D a best choice for DC motor driver. Gear motor this is a great low cost alternative and a low current gear motor which is the first choice for small robot designers which has a 90 degrees of freedom and gear ratio 20 to 4 is to 11 and a weight of 31 grams. The software implementation part of our project can be divided into two parts. Number one, to establish a Bluetooth communication between the key fob and the USB dongle. Number two, to establish a serial peripheral interface between the USB dongle and the MSP430 G2231 MCU. To establish a Bluetooth communication between the key fob and the USB dongle, we used B tool. And to establish a serial peripheral interface between the USB dongle and the MSP430 G2231 microcontroller, the IAR Workbench 5.40 and IAR Workbench 6.0 are used. The software implementation starts with programming the USB dongle using Smart RF Flash Programmer with the host test release hex code to initiate the communication. USB dongle is connected to the PC. Now the key fob is connected to the PC via CC debugger. Using Smart RF Programmer, it is programmed in the above mentioned similar manner. The testing of dongle and key fob using Smart RF Studio is done now. The selection of CC2540 is done. Kept in easy mode. And the transmission is start. The packets being transmitted from the transmitter to the receiver are clearly shown. The next step is, is to use the B tool to make USB dongle discoverable by programming it with host test release program. 
the port comet is selected. The button B3 of the key fob should be pressed. The USB dongle should scan for the BLE devices in the proximity. Once the slave BDA address is found, the connection is to be established by clicking on the establish. Now the connection is established and we get a success acknowledgement. Next, it, the next step is to activate the accelerometer and its axis by writing the required characteristic UUID values. After the writing is success, different accelerometer readings are received by the dongle from the key fob based on the position of the accelerometer. Now the results on the CRO with accelerometer placed at different positions are shown. The first one shows when the accelerometer is placed on the ground. The second one when the key fob is slightly raised above the ground. And the third when the key fob is raised more above the ground. Now the connections are being made. At first the SPI interface connections are made. from dongle to the microcontroller. Now the SPI connections are made between the USB dongle and the microcontroller. The analog signal coming from P1.0 of the microcontroller is being connected to the comparator in the circuit. It is the comparator LM324. Then a signal is received by the comparator from USB dongle via MSP430 microcontroller whenever a tilt is produced. If this signal is above the reference voltage of the comparator, it produces a voltage of 5 volts. This 5 volts along with the inverter voltage that is the inverter 7404 which produces 0 volts are provided to the motor driver. This drives the motor to open the hand Initially, the accelerometer is in the ground position, so the hand is in the closed state. Once the accelerometer is tilted, the hand starts opening. And when the accelerometer is again placed in its original position, that is back to the ground, the hand starts closing, thus providing the opening and closing action of the hand based on the signals from the accelerometer. Now you can see the hand gripper holding a water bottle filled with water. Now you can see the hand gripper picking various other objects. We have successfully achieved the output of the project using an ADXL335 3-axis accelerometer with wired connection. We are able to provide the gripping action to the gripper by running the motor using an accelerometer. We have successfully established connect connection between key fob and USB dongle to observe the varying accelerometer readings and also we interfaced MSP430G2231 with the USB dongle using serial peripheral interface that is SPI. These are the list of references we made while doing a project.